Well, Fabian, um, a lot of fans delighted to um, hear that you're almost on the verge of a first team return. Um, first of all, talk about the reserve game. How did it feel to be back in, in match action? Well, very, very, very good. Um, I thought for for the first match, it was it was a pretty good experience for me to come back and like roll myself into the game slowly, and um, I really like enjoyed that. How did you feel? Were you, did you tire? Uh, it I, it was much better than I I was expecting. I thought it was would be much harder to get into the game, but um, I thought I've done quite well. Okay. Um, big credit to you, you've always had a smile on your face when I've seen you at the training ground. How how hard has it been to keep smiling? Um, you've got all the lads playing and you've been out with this long-term injury. Well, uh, in between it's been quite hard because you just spend your time at the gym and um, what helped me quite a lot is that the club let me go home a couple of times. Mm -hmm. So I was home at Christmas, which like kind of backed me up again and when I came back. Um, I enjoyed the work as well. Kite and um, Mark Hammond were working like really hard with me, and um, as soon as it got a bit closer to like coming back and like after four months, I was running and being out there on the pitch with the lads again. Um, it felt much better, and uh, as you can see, the end it got much easier. Mm. Has it made you a stronger person um, going through this? Probably, yeah. You you kind of take a new view on the on all the things. You you just don't um, you kind of get. Probably you can take experience from that as well. If it's not playing wise, it's more like you can, um, yeah, more like an, how would you say that? Um, like a tactical experience yeah. that you don't rush into everything straight away. Like that, um, things you kind of do as a young player, you probably jump into every tackle, and now you probably have an eye um, for like tackles you can you can rush in through, and. Um, that that gives you um, kind of experience as well. Of course, it would be would be much better you know, like a playing game experience. Yeah. Have you had the support of the fans? Have they been writing to you and uh, have you seen them in the street? Um, not not really, to be honest. Mm. But um, like when I was at the games, like loads of people were coming to me and um, asking how I feel and um, when I come back and stuff, and that really kind of helped me as well. That. Um, I could see even the fans and the people around the club um, were asking um, for me and wanted me to come back as soon as possible. And I guess you're a bit of a mystery man to Daryl Clark because he's not really seen you in action, so it's a, a kind of a clean slate for you, isn't it? Trying to yeah, impress him now. Yeah, it is. Um, well, he's only seen me last year in pre season, so I think he's saw me like in one game or so. So, and in the second one, I injured myself. So, um, yeah, I've kind of. Uh, have the time now to impress him. I think he's aware of um, that I'm just coming back from a from a major injury, but um, I will. I, will, I want to use that as well. Sometimes that can be helpful as well. Yeah. When does your contract expire? Um, that's by the end of the season. Right. So have um, you talked about the future at all? Uh, not with the gaffer yet. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's the the last five games are important now to win them and to get um, to get safe for next season. I think um, everything that concerns next season will be. Spoken about them. If needed, do you feel ready to play for the first team? Um, if needed, I am. Yeah. Um, I don't know what's happening for Saturday. Um, what the plans for the Gaffer? He's watched the game on Tuesday, and um, it's all up to him. I'm ready to go.